Iron is the element in the periodic table of Mendeleev that happens to be, from a nuclear point of view, most stable. What I mean by that is the following. If I take two protons and crash them together, I can make deuterium, which is what the sun does in abundance in its core, and then I can crash deuterium together with more protons, I can build up helium, then I can build up carbon, magnesium, oxygen, all the intermediate weight elements in the periodic table up to iron. And every time I do that, I get energy out. Those reactions are exothermic. I get more energy out than I put in. And so that's a way of feeding energy into the core of a star. Iron is a problem. When a star tries to fuse iron, iron actually takes energy in when it fuses. So if you fuse iron, you're actually absorbing energy instead of letting energy out to support the star. That's bad. A star will die a couple milliseconds after it begins to form iron in its core. Because now, instead of energy supporting all that gravity, it's taking it up and the star collapses. And this collapse is the precursor to what we call a supernova explosion. Because the collapse is so violent, the core just collapses and all the material of the star collapses around it. And the temperatures inside that go so high that they fuse every other single chemical that we know of in the universe in an instant in a millisecond. So for example, uh, gold. I always like to think of the gold in my wedding ring. Gold is a more complex element than iron. It's actually a heavier element than iron. And the only thing in the universe that forms a gold atom is a supernova explosion. So when you think about things like gold or silver, or in fact, even the iron in your blood, that iron was formed the very instant a star died.